Our journey begins in the northwest of England at the Daresbury Laboratory of the UK's Science and Technology Facilities Council, where we've set up our manufacturing site for the assembly and integration of our modular light system. A hall has been built to house the accelerators, which form the beating heart of the light system. Because AVO's light system uses linear acceleration, there's a considerable reduction in the shielding that's required and no need for absorbers to handle stray excess radiation found with legacy cyclotron systems. This is a major advantage of the system, making it far easier and more affordable to install. Everything starts at our proton source, using a system called ECRIS, known for its robustness, stable operation and long lifetime. From there, the protons start their journey along a gallery of accelerators, moving as a 200 Hz pulsed beam through the CERN-developed RFQ and various accelerating modules called SCDTLs and CCLs, accelerating up to a maximum of 230 MeV. AVO's linear accelerator is now fully constructed and operating at a maximum power of 230 MeV, the energy needed to treat deep-seated tumors. This makes the light system the only proton linear accelerator to have achieved this feat. The accelerator is driven by four IOTs and 13 klystrons, all supplying RF power to the accelerators and is cooled, kept under vacuum and monitored by beam diagnostics. DC supplies in the system drive magnets which control the position of the beam and a full control system keeps the entire system working optimally. The accelerator is driven from a control room where our specialist operators accelerate and steer the proton beam. There are over 250 front-end control software instances newly developed to accelerate, steer and monitor the proton beam. It utilizes 20 gigabytes per day of data capture in beam optimization and control and delivers a proton pulse at your energy of choice every five milliseconds. The patient treatment itself, which is the final goal, takes place in the treatment room at the end of the accelerator. This has also been built at Daresbury, where we'll undertake our clinical investigation plan and first patient treatment, in conjunction with University Hospital Birmingham. We've installed a state-of-the-art robotic patient positioner for aligning patients in the upright position in the treatment chair. Also, a CT imaging subsystem, an X-ray imaging subsystem, and computing software and hardware to ensure accurate placement, imaging, and image processing of patients. Light runs on an advanced suite of medical software. The clinical workflow starts with patient admission, intake appointments, and creating images for treatment planning. The treatment plan is verified, approved, and delivered to the patient, typically over multiple sessions. Using this software, physicians are supported throughout every step of the process, ensuring that patients can be safely and accurately treated using a beam that's been fully optimized and tailored to their needs. Light from Advanced Oncotherapy, democratizing access to proton therapy worldwide.